Do you know what happens to bulk behavior of reinforced concrete under fire or at elevated temperature? Our first guess, the bond strength is lost and the second guess, the bond slip is increased. Concrete consists of aggregates and a matrix of cement, sand and some water. Water may be capillary, adsorbed or absorbed into the aggregates. There is some degree of water in pores which is capillary. Some is on the surface of the particles and so it's adsorbed and some within the particles so absorbed. When heated a steel reinforced concrete under fire some water would initially evaporate the matrix would recombine with the matrix water to form hydroxides. This is a weak matrix which finally decomposes. The spalling occurs of concrete at higher temperatures with the development of the pressure due to heat at the surface of the concrete. At same time or prior to it, cracks have developed in cement matrix. At more higher temperatures, aggregates start to transform chemically into crystalline state and thus become glossy. They aggregate into lock and the shear resistance is lost and thereby the final ability to have a stronger bond with concrete for steel is also lost. The steel grip is finally lost on concrete at high temperatures due to softening of steel and loss in its stiffness. So a decrease in strength of concrete is initiated with the decomposition of concrete. The micro cracks are initiated in concrete with the dehydration of concrete and with the decomposition of concrete at the same time a loss is initiated in steel strength and the development of the plastic deformations occur in steel. The spalling of concrete also occurs at the same time. So we could say that the in a reinforced concrete sample there are uh, it could be without cracks it could be with partial cracks and at higher temperature there could be full cracks in the concrete sample. So what happens to the bond strength of con reinforced concrete at high temperature? It would normally decrease with increase in the temperature. A chemical addition and friction are both lost at high temperature in the concrete and steel. So bond strength decreases appreciably above 400 degrees Celsius as concrete decomposes and degrades. Result is the decomposition of Portland diet mineral in concrete to hydroxides at this temperature. The interlocking is lost at higher temperature and the thermal cracks occur in concrete and it has lesser bearing capacity for the bond stress. The bond stress thereby at higher temperatures could be seen to have a flatter curve. There is a micro slip stage followed by internal cracking of concrete which is then followed by the, by the pull out of the steel bar. Finally there is a descending stage when the bond slip increases and the interlocking is lost. The bond slip naturally increases as interlocking, friction and addition is all lost at high temperatures in concrete. There is another phenomenon connected to the high temperatures. This is the thermal spalling of concrete. This occurs around 600 degrees Celsius. The steel is exposed and the bond length is decreased. Thereby there is a loss in the, loss in the steel grip which leads to the loss in the stiffness of the bars. And there is an increase in the bond slip. Overall, the bond strength is decreased, although there has been very little research into this topic.